Oh, it worked on the first try. <laughs> hey, there we go. Alright, so if you follow any tech related stuff, you know that Apple released their newest version of their iOS, I think last week, iOS 14. So one of the biggest new features, pretty sure you've seen it all over the place. I'm pretty sure if, if you have TikTok, if you have Instagram, all those things, you know what one of the biggest new feature on iOS 14 is, is widgets. Today what I'm going to show you is uh, one of the cool little things I found out that you can do with widgets is basically um, there's this app called Widgetsmith which allows you to create a custom widget. You can upload your own pictures onto it, you can maybe change it to a schedule order, but you can also set it to a specific widget for let's say noonish, and then when you get to afternoon you maybe you want a different widget. You can change the widget depending on the time of the day and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Now I'm going to switch my phone. So the first thing that you're going to want to have is this application called Widgetsmith. If you open it, you'll be able to have like all these small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. And what we're going to do, play around with today is large widget. Obviously you can do this with the small or the medium one, depending on what you like. This is the one where I have it changes to different Bible verses, where it displays different Bible verses at different times of the day. If I click on it, it takes me directly to Widgetsmith. And if I click on that, boom, you see all the different times that I have. I can do like different pictures, uh, your family maybe. Uh, you can also do different widgets as well. So you can change it to, let's say you're scheduling in the morning. If you want to see what you have coming up in the day, right afterwards you can do reminders, you can do photos throughout the day. So there are different many things that you can play around with. But today let's just start by adding a new large widget. As you see it makes a new one, click on it, and then it defaults to a calendar, but if you click on a calendar, you have all these different options, you have time and location. This is the photo one that I choose, upcoming events, you can use that, reminder, or you have to give a lot of access to your reminder. So let's just do photo this time, and let's do photo, you can select a photo. So like, let's just say I pick this picture that I took in Metal Arc, go back, at the bottom it says add a time widget. That's what you're going to want to choose. Click on that and boom, you get a clock. Now what this clock does is basically the grayed out area is going to be your default. So whatever you just picked before and the slightly highlighted area is going to be whatever new one that you have. So let's say in the morning I want my calendar, I wake up at seven, I want my calendar for an hour. Actually, let's do upcoming events. I want upcoming events for an hour. You go to calendar, you have all of these things, you have whatever your workplace is, whatever. You can choose your font, uh, New York, whatever, SF model, I'm guessing that's San Francisco. You have all these different fonts, whatever. You have like color. If you have some sort of a theme go that's going on with your front page, you can choose your colors of the font and then you can choose your background color. This is what a lot of people would use uh, when it comes to theme. Let's say your theme is like blue or like light blue, green, nature-y, then you you can like adjust it however you want. I normally just keep it as a default black. And now if you see this plus icon that's right under your default, you can click on it and then it will add a new time frame for a new widget. Click on it and then you can choose whatever you want. Again, you can choose calendar, you can choose time and location. Maybe let's say you want to see your calendar after your upcoming event, so you just save calendar. If you wanted to show up as a calendar in the middle of the night, sure, do whatever you want. But if you don't want to, you just drag on it and then rotate it all the way around right after the upcoming event. You don't want it for just two hours or you think you want to look at your calendar a little bit longer or shorter, you can just drag one of these lines Make another widget, let's see what we got this time. Maybe you want to do reminders. Actually, maybe you want to do reminders right before your calendar. You can choose like whichever reminder you want. Filters, again, like font, color, background, whatever. And you can just move it right in front of there where you maybe want to do in the middle of the night, right before you go to sleep. You want to see what you have coming up next tomorrow. And you're done, click save. You can always just tap to rename it. Yeah. Now that you have that widget made, go to any of the pages where you want to put on the widget, edit home screen, click on the upper left hand corner where there's a little plus icon, scroll all the way down until you see widget smith, it might be in the last item on the list, click on it and then scroll all the way to large, 
boom, there's your widget. And that's about it. That's about it when it comes to things that you can do with uh, widget smith. There's another app called Color Widget. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of what this thing can do. I'm also just kind of assuming that you seen enough videos on TikTok where it's like they teaches you the basics of all these things so you don't need me to walk you through all of the setup process down on the app and a lot of stuff um but if you do again there's like tons of videos on youtube and TikTok. i'm pretty sure one of them went trending like yesterday or two days ago but you can always just look those up follow the steps and then do what i did that's it peace out